guys, Cruel Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with Barry. Last time on, it's going to be very hard to top, it was one of the best episodes of the show. What happened? Yeah, it was. There was a chase scene? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> there was. <laughs> there was an attempted handoff that caused a wreck. Let's do a gun thing. He's on the roof! <laughs> Yeah. There was uh, boom. <laughs> He's getting back up. <laughs> boom. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Oh god. There's also poisoning. There was poisoning. That was the subject for a poll from last time. How does Barry get out of the poisoning? By subscribing to Blind Wave. I do it. Okay, that's how you. I wouldn't do it. What are you doing, Gowan? Oh, there it starts to go. <laughs> He's just like pouring it at me. <laughs> like, I don't know. What you've ever seen like. The threads of people that are, they want to like sue YouTube or something because they looked up like emergency CPR because someone was ch like choking or something. So I don't know what it was, but then they had to watch like five ads. Yeah. To get to it. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why I just came to my mind. <laughs> why did that person monetize that ad? Call 911. Yes. yes. All right. Uh, 8% say that Sharon chickens out. I don't know. How, she's already poisoned him. I don't know. Like, does she like uh, give him the antidote or something? She pops his stomach. Could do that. Eleven uh, percent says that he saves himself. I would say if I have some kind of poison yeah. that I give someone, mm -hmm. I don't think whatever it is I gave them, I have an antidote for. No. Like what if unless, you, unless what she if has while you're holding it, you, yeah. What if you like trip? Like, ah! I'm just saying, like, what poison? <laughs> what? <laughs> you well, give it to him. You trip. It gets in your mouth. Why do you it? swallow all of it? <laughs> just, he's used to when he walks with his water or his soda. He's got to make sure he has contingencies. I don't want to spill it, Calvin. <laughs> Her chicken owl could just be called nine one one. Yeah, I suppose so. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty four percent say it just doesn't work. <laughs> and he kills her. Fifty-four percent say someone else saves him. Like we had some comments. The Raven. Uh, the Sergio. Yeah, sure. Sergio says my guess is that the Revenge Crew is going to show up and fuck things up, which ends up saving Barry. The Revenge. I am the one who's going to kill him. No, <laughs> me. I. My loss is greater. <laughs> I'm going to take a little piece of him. <laughs> Pound of flesh. Why is there Pac-Man behind that mountain? Have you ever been to Hawaii? Liam says his ex-soldier friend will have been that's been watching him will come in and save him. That's what I think. Albert. 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 I hope this Albert turns into Resident Evil 5 Albert. He's just throwing missiles at Barry. <laughs> I guess. Uh, Dip says I think she'll chicken out and help him. Uh, Jared says no one kills Barry except Karate Girl. Ooh. Karate Girl. She just kicks him in the stomach, he just picks up all the poison. Saved. It's like a monk in D&D &D trying to do first aid. Yeah. No, uh, we'll end with Robert Meadows, he says he's going to die, and the show will be over. <clears throat> Despite the fact that it was just, just renewed for a fourth season. <gasps> Pretty cool. cool. Awesome. Yeah, but it could be Barry without Barry. You don't know. It could be a prequel. It could be a whole other character named Barry. And we follow him. That's true. Why? So I asked that. No he has to have show. parents. Yeah, he has to have parents. That means something. His mom's named Barry. No. Huh? He's dead. It's his funeral. It is. All these people showed up for it. Is this Chris's funeral? To make sure he's dead. Or this could just no. be church. I think it's yeah. just church. It's just mess. But not enough people are wearing all black. It's not fancy enough to be mess. Yeah. It's not Catholic. They don't have any uh, bowls for holy water when you enter the chapel. Uh, it's probably through the door outside. Only yeah. fire has That might not be the actual exit. It needs to be on the inside. You can sanctify yourself inside the room. Yeah, but that might not be the actual outside right there. That might just be the door to the it says annex. It says exit. And then the annex has it. Well, exits tell you where the exits are. Not that it is the exit. Focus on this man. This doesn't want to see him. Just dip. And dip. Here we go. Guys, you ready? Right. What? Roll and music. Who's <laughs> now? This is Masterclass, like... Yeah. Hello, I'm Gene Kusinow, and I'm a mess collector. 
You see, these are not literal masks. There are roles <laughs> that you're going to play in this class, and they are going to change your life. It is about reaching into your soul, pulling out that muck, and throwing it on the stage. Hey, I'm acting here. That's new. So, oh. are you ready? So did it, next morning, did he die? <gasps> Don't say. Like, where his mouth is was wet and pukey. He's so lucky, and she just left. Yeah, you, like what was step two of her plan? Where do you go? I wish she had one. Fuck. Oh man, what did he eat? You know? Oh my god. That, I don't know what it would be, but it, it feels like it would be terrible. With the eight year esophagus. He has no transportation, right? Yeah. yeah I don't no. remember how exactly he ended up. His bike up. crashed. Yeah, he walked he ran in, here. The he rest walked of the way. from the used car place, yeah. Whoa. He's Whoa. high. Whoa. I think he might be. Amazing. This looks really good. I love visual what effects if he's done well. Dead. You think it's visual effects or do you think it's practical? Visual effects. Wait, where did the house go? Is he in like a high state or is it like a dream state? Like, is he really walking somewhere but seeing shit? I don't think shit? he's woken up yet. Do you think it's like a dream dream yeah. thing? Gotta step up mm -hmm. in the world. Yeah, so she just should run herself. But why? Jesus. <laughs> That's so intimidating. If nobody's ever put a hand around your fucking neck, this was my story. My story. You don't even have a fucking daughter. Neither do you, Sally. <laughs> <laughs> you are nothing without me. You are nothing. Nobody's stupid piece of shit. I don't know what Barry did to you. Know. you. Recording? I don't she know. She had her phone up like this. Sure. Yeah, worries me. Maybe. Parking building. Maybe a cross street. Is that a blowgun? Yeah. That's a giant blow dart. I hate blow darts. They're like flying needles. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what I thought you were doing, but then I want to be rude. So. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to. <laughs> you say you didn't want to be rude? Yes. Yeah. Who's that? I think it's his dad. Or Chris's dad, maybe. Mm. Well, he really got up. Maybe it's like a weird high state kind of thing. Well, luckily, a doctor's there. Maybe he feels guilty. He wants to help him. Mm. Like if he provided the dr like the drugs or the poison, mm. you know. Make you talk? I got my interrogator's head and he ended up committing suicide. And some of the other guys escaped. What? You convinced your interrogator to kill himself? Yeah. <laughs> some of the other guys said I had an aptitude for it. But uh, I thought they were just being. Fuchs tried that, right? He group. did that to the one guy. Pulled me out of class and made me an instructor. And the guy killed That's himself. That's right. I'm no kind of genius or anything, but uh, just a simple tonnage. The raven. Issue. Shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's what <one> shit he said. <laughs> he just brought him straight to... to <laughs> he did. Barry Bergman. Fed me some line about how I could get justice. Gentlemen, respectfully, this is the raven. And he's crafty like a fox. If he gets Jim here to kill Berkman and throw suspicion away from him, but we're not falling for that. No matter how many people tell us it was Berkman, we know it was this guy. <laughs> Big cat. I want to talk to Fuchs alone, no cameras. That's not how we do things. Oh, May? Hey, now this is the FBI, okay? They're pros. You want a phone book to hit him with? 
Sock full of coins. <laughs> There's a few lines he del delivers that reminds me of Principal Belding. Yeah. Like in a few ways that he talks. Photograph Gene, you made him so uh, like him. Uh, tall. <laughs> Absolutely, he was like a real giant. <laughs> He's a jail man. Wow. Look how not Maybe tall they're shooting him right now. Yeah. He said your student Barry killed Janice. Barry's a good kid. That's not him. Now I wish he was armed. The sweat. Oh, fuck. Janice. This guy's good. Yeah. Janice, you know, those Russians, but. No, that's not him. I would like to oh. sincerely apologize for my perceived transgression perceived. against my former employee, well, friend and employee. Yeah, I'm friend <laughs> friend yeah, and employee. the fact that, but I just want to say, be careful who you trust, you know, because it takes a certain type of person. Uh, this isn't an apology. This is damage control. It's the fucking truth. It has nothing to do with what happened with Natalie, and frankly, it cheapens what you set out to do with your show. My show is me, Lindsay, and she stole my fucking if show. you had just let me deal with this, instead of, why did you have to say something? Oh, then fuck off! You don't care about me. You don't care about Joplin. You just care about your commission. Oh, oh, it's so important to have a, a great relationship with Banshee. You want the relationship with Banshee, not me. You work for me, and I am fucking drowning. And instead of trying to help me, you're just trying to save yourself. This is honest, okay? This is the honest fucking truth. And if that makes me unhirable, then I am fucking unhirable, but at least I told the fucking truth. You're like back in the darkness. I have to drop you. Yeah. It's amazing. Good. I don't want to work with liars. Well, you can't work in any city or town or okay. anywhere. Man, he's still just here? They're both in the darkness now. from the Tom Cruise movie. <gasps> oh my gosh. He killed himself? Yep. Yeah. People probably heard it and came and got him out of the car. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, he wanted payback, but he took it out on the wrong guy. And then he got discharged. You're Albert. I oh, am. Yeah. Oh my god. You served with a guy named Chris. Yes. He's trying to turn it around. You know, Barry still participates in those charity runs that Sharon does in Chris's memory. Barry's a good guy. Okay, what did he say? You can question him if you want, I'm leaving. Oh. You just toss on another you one just, of those. Yep, he got it in his head. What's he gonna do? What? He's gonna go after Berkman. Sound of waves. So yeah. is he alluding to like, I don't know, like protection work or something like that? Or is he just outright saying, no, I I leased him out as a hitman? He's saying everything without saying yeah. that, right? It's like a lucrative business, sent him on a mission. It's like, well, what could that be? It's like, well, it could be a security job. It could be, you know, a delivery. <laughs> you know, like, without actually saying it, it's like, well, you could fill in the blanks of what I'm saying. Yeah. Why would Chris kill himself, you know? 
seen some stuff he shouldn't have. And it just it it's all the lines, you know. And he has to read in between each one. He's just for Sputin. Man, I don't know how he can't did. be killed. Everyone's <laughs> coming after him. It's because ironically, he's the most efficient, best killer there is, and everyone else does it out of like he does it with almost no emotion most of the time. But everybody else does it with so much emotion, and they fuck up. Yep. I didn't know. I didn't think Ryan's dad was gonna kill himself. I thought he was just gonna be like, just drop him off, or you know. Yeah. I didn't know that. When he was saying like, "Why can't I?" Like. Why? Why can't I do this? And then he shoots himself. <sighs> I was hoping that, like, somehow he would find out, like, well, Barry didn't actually kill Ryan. And, like, maybe it gives him a little bit more leeway of, like, let me save mm -hmm. this guy who he has done bad things. But it feels like he has that looming over his head that, like, I don't want to kill the guy who killed my son. But I, sh I should save the guy who killed my son. And it's like this weird confliction he has. I was hoping yeah. maybe that conflict would be resolved a bit if he found out somehow, but Barry can't even talk right now. His daydream is so curious. Like the beach yeah. and stuff? Because there's this part of it that feels like he's... It's like he's about to move on. Sure. Like they go to the yeah. beach and then you move on to wherever you go next. And he's there... Around people that we know for sure he's killed. I don't know about all of them. I'm assuming all of them. I think all of them. It must be. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But everyone that this, I recognize. There's this weird, like, killed. like you killed Chris. You destroyed his life, his family. And you have the gall to be like, hey, Chris. Like, Barry doesn't know how fucked up he is. He doesn't understand. Yeah. Chris also the didn't person really seem to recognize him. Well, yeah. I mean, he kind of just, like, I, I, I was probably reading into it, but, like, don't wave at me. Like, yeah, I, I felt like it was a what the fuck are you doing, man? Yeah. You shot me. Yeah. Like, hey, do you like, not realize who you are to me? To me, it was more like Barry was waving, and Chris is like, I don't know who this guy is. He was looking around to see if anyone's waving back. I thought it was like looking to see, like, you wouldn't have the gall to wave at me. Who are you waving at? You're waving at me? You killed me! <laughs> but obviously with less emotion. And then like, they look up and you hear that, like, guttural, that, you know. It was yeah. a Tom Cruise movie. Yeah. Sure, like right? world, world, sure. world of worlds. But I was thinking of like you know, like the trumpet at Revelation or something that like reverbs right in the sky and, and all, all knees bend. You Gene's Cousineau's master class to tell me what yeah. he was, like what Chris was thinking in that moment. Yeah, perfect follow up to like the craziness of last episode, and this one was very emotional and very like Sally's descent. She literally descended into darkness. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> she literally did. I liked it. Yeah. I was going to go back to Barry. I kept waiting on, like, hands almost to come out and grab her yeah. and pull into the dark, you know? Like, it, it was one of those kind of shot things. And No, like, she's just, like, spiraling. She's losing everything, and now she's, like, so alone in the dark. Yeah, she might go back to Barry. Like, I don't understand how... How is Natalie's show, her show? Single mother thing? Is that the only thing? Single, Single mother Mama selling the cupcakes in the, in the park. Did Joplin sell... No, the notes were like, you need dessert, right? Like, that was the note. Yeah, if you eat a dessert in the first couple minutes of a, of a pilot, there's and a good percentage. There's just dessert, just cupcakes. Just there's, dessert. Yeah. yeah. So I think the only similarity so, is single mom Single mom a with a daughter so in the city. Natalie like just three has things, the right? experience of starting a, being an assistant to someone that was starting a show, and then just use all the things that worked. Yeah. get her own show going. Everything we learned was that yeah. this does well, but we need desserts. And Sally is just... In a, humor. <laughs> just desserts. So she's checking all of the boxes. Like, Joplin was too serious. Yeah. So they need more humor mixed in with it. And Sally just... She, her ego and her jealousy. Her whole thing, like, you don't even have a daughter. It's like, neither do you. Yeah, neither yeah. do you. Yeah. And your story you're so proud of, you immediately have said it's fake. <laughs> you yeah. didn't do that. You well, know? her whole thing about, like, that's fine, I don't want to work with liars. It's like... You yeah. are struggling with you yourself being a liar, yeah. and that's what caused all this issue. Is that it's you're... just like pure, unabashed jealousy. Like everything that you got, you have should be and, mine. And entitlement. Her. Like she's, I, she's screaming still, at her for being yeah. is so entitled. But like she I, is the entitled one. I keep going back to that scene where they're like sitting in the coffee shop waiting to enjoy fame, and she just never gets it, and that's what is driving her crazy. Like she yeah. did all the work, she got to the point here, and she's not getting what she's. 
wanted her entire life. Well, she feels she's owed. She's <laughs> getting her just desserts. <laughs> and she, I, you know, last time, like when Barry cornered her against the wall and yelled at her, like that's when she realizes, like I, I can't do this anymore, or it starts that, like I have to break up with Barry, and then she did the exact same thing here in Natalie, which makes me think that she's going to go back to Barry. I mean, maybe, yeah. I don't know. With him being in the hospital, yeah. recovering from being injured, mm-hmm. I don't know what they're going to think it's going to be like. Like, what's the story going to be with this doctor yeah. that they found in the car and they pulled him out? Yeah, like, you know? does George like, get blamed for the poisoning? I don't know. Does, <sighs> does it look like he tried to kill did, him? Yeah. Does it did, look more did like did it was George a suicide stage attempt? it to where it looks like a murder? Where the fuck did Sharon go? She just noped right out of there. Where do you go? With Theo, too, right? Like, Theo's yeah. out there. They were talking about the kid. Like, where do you go? I mean, you go... You have a man dead in your house. She thinks that he's dead in her dining room. You go to establish an alibi. Like, what I would do is I would buy a plane ticket or a bus ticket or whatever beforehand. Yeah. And then I would also somehow secretly buy another one Mm. and then go to that place. Go to the other place. Right? So, like, if I bought a bus ticket to Mexico or whatever, like, I would buy two of those, one with cash that couldn't be tracked. But one beforehand. So you're buying one to be like, look, I had this one that I left at 11 a.m. Yeah. But you really bought a secret one that left at 3. 3 p.m. Or whatever. Which gives you that leeway where it's like, look, I bought this ticket. Yeah. It's like, oh, really? There's a secret ticket. Yeah. And then I would just go and be at my alibi. I don't know if she thought that far ahead. Yeah, I don't know either. She might just panic. There's also yeah, food. What, what yeah. she do? Like, she had dinner there. You know who made the dinner? Why was he there dying in your house? Yeah, I don't know. It can't be like a bus ticket or a plane <clears throat> ticket or something like that because, like, those are stamped when you get on. Those are stamped when you get on, and if it's not stamped, then you have no alibi. You, you need an you need to like, I guess, to like. You need it. to have like a hotel where you check in at a certain time, like, I don't know, have. Well. Yeah. Have someone check in for you and then hitchhike there so there's no travel or, you know, no record of when you traveled there. And then just be there when they're, when they call, you know. All the murderers are watching, like, <laughs> taking notes. They're watching us. You heard about the story about the lady that wrote a book called How to Kill Your Husband? Like, and she goes over, like, here's the per- way to get away with it. She's been indicted for killing her own husband. He and Pill did that sketch, right, with a rap album? I remember something like that, yeah. yeah. Like her husband's dead? Yeah. So, like, people were like, oh, she's writing the story of how she got away from killing, like, get away with killing her husband? Yeah. yeah. Well, wasn't OJ's book, like, If I Did It? If I Did It. <laughs> like, if I did it, this yeah. is how I would have done it. I couldn't have done it because I didn't do it this way. <laughs> <laughs> Implying that he's thought a lot about it. He wrote well, a yeah. book. I mean, Which if you've been work? in prison for that long thinking about, man, I wish I'd done it. Then I'd actually deserve to be here. <laughs> At least I'd have the satisfaction, you know? Mm-hmm. Whatever. No ho Hank being captured. I don't know what that's going to be. That yeah, one guy's like, oh, okay, when I get out of the cuffs, I'm going to get this guy out of the cuffs. No. And then be ready. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, what? He's Hank? What's he going to do? He's handcuffed, What's and he? he's, he's apparently been, like, wrestling with the cuffs long enough. Must have like, been, the right? other guy said he's, like, he's bleeding very badly. Could be from the torture, too. Like Could said, be. they were getting tortured. But I imagine he's just going to be in that room hearing them be tortured and killed. Ogmail is the bigger guy that was filming the whole thing. From is that him? Yeah, that's him, right? I think that's that's I wrote him. That. One of the two voices is the guy that's always getting shot, right? I think yeah. so. I think it's the other guy. I just don't remember what their names are. Ogmail and someone else. Also, is uh, Janice's dad... I was trying to place him because he looks so familiar. Is yeah. he the guy from Gone in 60 Seconds? It's like the cop... I haven't seen him in so long. It's been a long I mean, time. I've seen him in a million things. I was opening up because I wanted to see if uh, if that's him or not. Because that's the only thing I could think of was that. But I'm like, is that what that guy looked like? Because I can't remember. His name is Jim Moss. Jim Moss. One. Yeah. Um, Robert Wisdom. Bam. He's in Robert Ray F- Wisdom. He's in. Oh yeah. He's in Face Off. He is. Yeah. He's one of the guys that they burn. Kill the beginning to cover up the uh-huh. the secret. I loved their this the scenes immediately after, you know, saying that Gene was shot very tall. They did the exact opposite and shot him so short, and Jim yeah. Ross is towering. He over looked him. like four foot yeah. six. <laughs> and, I mean, they just had he just completely rolled over 
whatever Gene was saying, and that slow zoom in to the sweat in his forehead <laughs> is just so great. Because it started with a slow zoom in on Jim's face, and he's looking at it, and then it's zooming in on Gene, and then it pans up to the sweat. Really good. Like, he knows that he's lying, but I wonder why he thinks he's lying. Yeah. Well, he has an aptitude for interrogating people. He Getting pressured in his interrogator to kill himself. Which sounds like something that Saeed could do in Lost. <laughs> <laughs> Fuchs did it. I was going to say, well, it sounds like something that Fuchs would claim yeah. that he did. Fuchs, like, that's the thing. Like, it did happen with Fuchs, but not because of Fuchs. Yeah. That guy would just yeah. already had problems. <laughs> and they were like, oh my god, he did this, you know? <laughs> Which is why Fuchs was, like, so trying not to be impressed by that you did that. It was really fun. I loved how fixated he was on that. And just didn't even notice at all that he was being driven to the police station. And the cops just frame in the shot. And he's just like, oh, fuck. I love the cop oh, captain shit. who literally says, like, no matter how many people tell us Barry Brooklyn did it, we will not believe that. Yeah, we know it's this guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so funny. It really is. It's terrible, too. Big but, cat. Yeah. It's... <laughs> Too real at times, but like it's it's a weird thing too because like why do those people believe that Barry did it? It's like well because this one guy went around and told everyone that that's who did it. You know? Yeah. Like, sure. Is there any like none of them witness anything? None of them have any evidence of any no. of it? It's if just they like, had evidence, they would have been, you know. So like it, it is a, cops. a weird thing because like you have like yeah five people who are all being like Barry Berkman did it. It's like well why do they think that? It's like because this one guy said it. even though that one guy's right because he. As, uh, he's witnessed. But there's no way that he could know that unless he was directly involved. Sure. Which he is. Right? But yeah. he's lying about that bit. Off the books. <laughs> he's telling the truth about it. So No Ho Hank recognizes that a guy is going to shoot him with a blow dart and doesn't want to be rude. Yeah. Like, he doesn't want to be rude away. by running right. away. So he just, so he like, just lets it happen. He's not sure that this isn't some like cultural greeting <laughs> or something. Like, he doesn't really know what's happening. The thing he thinks that's crazy, he crazy. He puts it together. Yeah. And then he's sitting there and he reaches in and he pulls it out and he stares at Noho Hank. And he still isn't like, I better go. He could have been shooting somebody else. He could have just him with it. And he, puts he was it right in. there. He didn't have to blow it. They're so close. And he together. goes like this and do none of that. Does he, like, move at he all? He could have been shooting a bug or a bird. You don't know. I didn't want to be rude. Blow darts were originally used to, to hunt, like, small game birds. Like in Jungle to Jungle. Because they're very quiet. Man, I haven't seen that in a long time. I need to watch that one. <laughs> jungle to Jungle, baby. They drugs. Tim Allen. Yes, they do sell the drugs. <laughs> but I feel like... Like, he pulled that out as if to... Like, how often does that work? I don't know. You know? It worked really, really well that time. It did. Do you think it usually he scares... He got zero steps <laughs> away. Do you think usually it scares people away? I don't know. Like, the idea of, like, he draws his gun out. Yeah. Pulls out his silencer. <laughs> puts the silencer on the gun. You know? Like, that kind of stuff. You figure people are like, oh, shit, run! <laughs> or and, and advance and take away the blow dart. <laughs> you know? Like, or maybe he just can read Noho Hank so well that he knows that he's not going to run away. <clears throat> Like, he Man. could have taken him out in, like, two seconds. Hank is so is funny. The least energy that he needs to use. That, uh, that showrunner for the Medusa show, he was funny. <laughs> she, like, so, she <laughs> turns him to stone, and then she breaks off and eats his dick. Why? Because she's horny. He's like, well, why does she eat the dick? And it's because funny. it's funny. Yeah. And then they... It wasn't supposed to be yeah, funny. Yeah, and all of them agree that they, there's oh. a hole in the plot, and his sister is... <laughs> Oh, the entire world as they leave. Yeah, I have so much more work to yeah. do. I just want to watch that guy work. <laughs> All right, you guys want to take out some Q and A's? Yeah. All right, we're gonna start with uh, Sam Carey, who says, "Not a question, but man, Bill Hader has been directing the heck out of this series, and this season in particular. What a great show! I agree. Yeah, I uh, I did hear that we're gonna have another season, and Bill Hader's gonna direct every episode next season. So every wow. episode, yeah, that's cool. It's come a long way from SNL. I uh, yeah, I loved <laughs> leaving the house, staying on him, and then the turn to the beach. I wonder what the shot was. The composition was beautiful. I want to see how they did it. I mean, it, to I me, it seems it's like just like it's a, it's a it's a visual effect, like a real street, and then a real effect to the beach. I want a real yeah. set where water really comes up. 
That'd be quite expensive. It looked my <laughs> expensive, but great. It looked too good. It's back further for the yeah you know, no one it's shot just, um like he must be on a beach. I was trying to look and I didn't see him leaving like footprints in the beach. On the sand. But they must be on a beach in yeah. the end there. Yeah, whenever they transition to being on a beach, they're shooting it on a beach. Yeah, hundred percent. I'm saying that first shot, they're shooting it on a street, and then the visual effects take over that, that second half, and it's it's pretty great. I don't know if a car really drove on the beach. Dude, when he was like staring off, he's like, "The fuck is going on?" Yeah. I'm like, "What's he looking at?" Oh no, did she crash over here and she's dead? Yeah, you know, that's what I thought yeah. happened. He does stay very much on the right side, mm -hmm. you know. Just a beautiful shot. It's very surreal. Cause like it makes you doubt first. Like, wait, what are we doing? Yeah, like, is there a scene here? Like, is this water different than this I think, water? Like the mountain, like that's added in. Yeah, it, but because, trying to find yeah. where the line is. I think the seam is back here. I think this water here and this water here is all there, if it's Compton. Uh, I mean, I, I think the feathering's happening down the middle of the street, and you're seeing a, compos uh, like a combination of two different streets. That's why when he gets halfway... And then a separate composition of, the, of this uh, island and mountain stuff in the background. He never interacts with the water on the actual ground. I'm going to say that's Compton. The only interaction you see... You think see this water is Compton? Yeah. I think it's Compton. Um, and that uh, car. I don't know. I the think reflections is, are. I feel like they're too good here. Well, I think, uh, I think, I think, I think the practical. car and the water are on, are on one side, and he and that stuff's on the other side. And because not, if it's they, not Compton, why wouldn't you have him walk in the water? Mm -hmm. I feel like that's the more natural shot. Yeah. But it's very good. It is very good. Well, like, he, he never crosses the halfway point, right? Of the. Yeah. I mean, even if he did, you could roto that in there. But, like, there's a little bit of fuzziness I don't know. around okay. some of the stuff that's very, very, very well done. Logan Britton says, That scene with Sally yelling at her agent reminded me of the last shot of season two, where after Barry killed the people at the monastery, he walks into the darkness. Mm. With Albert and Jim both going after Barry next episode, who do you think gets to him first? They're probably getting each other's way, right? <sighs> like, Albert... Yeah, like how much do they get in each other's way? He's like, no, I want to do it. No, I need to catch him. Do well, they sure, like, kill each like, other? If Albert's coming in, he's an agent, and this guy's not, right? He's just a retired veteran or whatever. Mm -hmm. He has no rights to be doing this kind of stuff, so is that going to cause more problems, and then they both end up dying or something, you know? Yeah. Like, I wonder what Albert's goal is. Is it to kill him? Is it to bring him in? Sure. Is it to protect him? Yeah. If he owes him? I don't know. I don't know either. But no, I get your point there. Like, there could be more there where it's like, let me see if I can help Barry because he helped me. But he also, he's right. He, like, in his... In his blind rage. Panic and, yeah, and anger and all that stuff. He killed the wrong people. Shot the wrong guy that didn't even have the sniper or anything, right? It was just, like, a family that was inside a house. Mm -hmm. uh, Darren says, Sally seems to be at, at an all-time low. Do you think <laughs> she teams up with Barry to get her old life back? Does she say, so that stuff that you were talking about. <laughs> she sicks Barry on people. Can we do that to Natalie? <laughs> Dude. Yeah. That would be. I know. Something. Maybe. Maybe make she her doesn't crazy even, and make her lose her show. Yeah, maybe she doesn't even ask Barry to do it. Maybe she just does it herself. I have some ideas what to do. <laughs> like, she has a playbook now. Like, she listened to the whole thing. She gets arrested for all the murders. Because she's been around all of them as well. That's true. But not the ones where, like, Chris... <laughs> it's like she was at the cabin when Janet died, right? Yeah, Janet died with, uh... It was Gene and Janice and Barry and Sally. Mm -hmm. And then he snuck off, killed her, snuck back into bed. Starting now. <laughs> uh, Doby Gregg says, I'm sure that Barry will survive both the dad and the ex-military, but... They seem like practical people and could make sure to give the police info before they do a suicide mission. Could Barry become a one criminal at the end of this season? Mm. I'm going to say no. Somehow, that's not what happens. What's going to happen is, I don't know how, but somehow like these two are going to go after Barry or something. Somehow things get turned around and Fuchs gets arrested. Yeah. Like somehow Fuchs, even being locked up, let's say Albert and Moss die, 
Somehow that chief pins it on the Ravens <laughs> and puts him in jail for it. Big cat. Yeah. I mean, the more emotional they get, the more likely they are to hit against Barry and die. Yeah, right? yeah. Sure. That's generally what happens. Barry, like, sucks emotion. So that's why he's becoming this actor and he's able to do these things. So I could see that with Albert now. He felt very frustrated and, and needed to go do something, whereas maybe not so much Jim Ma. We'll see. He seems like he's more calculated and more practical and more cerebral. Sure. I don't know. Do you guys think that we have, like, we're down to just those two right now? Like, have we finished off everyone else that Fuchs told, right? Like, we're yeah. not going to have the dad anymore. Yeah. Uh, the son the and mom. The son and the mom combo, you think that's done considering what happened last night? I would I, assume so. I would yeah. say so. I would say so. Like, I think Sharon, they're scared straight now. Given that she's tried to poison him and it, mm-hmm. either she believes it's going to work or yeah. it doesn't, I don't know. Taylor's sister's dead. She was on the beach. Yeah. Yeah. Like, do you think all those groupings are done then? We just have Karate Girl. Karate, no, Fuchs didn't tell Karate Girl. She knows already. Fuchs wouldn't even she dive into that at all. Yeah. She would kill him too. Yeah, no. She, she That's too neck. dangerous. <laughs> So I just wonder if like, is there any chance we see like the mom of the of that combo where Sharon comes back trying again or anything? But that's kind of how the show ends. Maybe I don't know. Lily just jumps in and snaps his neck or something. <laughs> uh, Vladdy Prank says, ten do, years. says, do you think there's a chance that Barry gets out of this because he's a human ice machine and Jim won't be able to read him if he's lying? That could be. Interrogates him. Yeah. Who's an ice machine? Barry, yeah, Barry, Barry, yeah. Like, Barry just doesn't react the same way a lot of people do. I mean, know. yeah, he's a he's a psychopath, so he doesn't he doesn't sweat. Yeah. But he might also be able to read that, too, maybe. Is he a psychopath or a sociopath? Which one is it? I mean, he I, is both. Is he both? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Like, Sally is maybe a sociopath, but Barry is a psychopath. But he gave Gene, like, his career back, who also helped the director, who now didn't have a fucking clue what she was doing, and now is getting her career back. But that's some good that's, stuff to do. But he kind It's of, good because he knows that that's what someone who wanted... Yeah. You know, he's emulating behavior. Do. He's not doing it on his own. Like, people tell him like he, things to do, and he's like, yeah. oh, okay, that's what society demands, and he goes and he does it. Let me talk to Mitch. He's just... Yeah. He's Everybody trying to... Talk. He's trying to use patterns that he's learned over his, his life to behave normally. Mitch told him to be careful. Tread lightly. Anyway, anyway. It's like, dude, do it on Zoom. <laughs> Don't go meet them to have dinner right now. Go do it on Zoom. And that's yeah. what he should have done. Should have. Yeah, if I were you, I would do like Zoom call first. Uh, Melissa says, what a fantastic episode this was. I find it very interesting how we don't see Janice on the beach with all the people that Barry has killed. Mm, sure. What do you guys think Albert is going to do? Maybe we'll have our expectations subverted and we'll end up helping Barry somehow. Yeah, I don't know about the second part. But yeah, yeah I mean, they got a lot of actors back for that. But yeah, you can't get all of them. So they kind of left some leeway for you never truly see everyone's face all at once. Yeah. So you can kind of imagine if you wanted to, they're not there. Who was the first guy? The first guy? The first guy that had like the beard that he looked at? Mm-hmm. The the big guy on the beach? Yes. That was um Who was that? Cuz that was the boss, right? From the first season? Mhm. Okay. I was that trying he to shot through the window. I was trying to place him and I wasn't sure. It's like towards the end, I think, Rick, like yeah, all the way at the end. Yeah, that guy right there. Before Chris. Him. Yeah, is that the guy whose Ryan was sleeping with his wife or whatever? Yeah, yeah the, this Bacar. is the guy who like was making stuff. Yeah, or yeah. Did he, Barry kill him? Was it Batar? Yeah, he, Barry killed him through the window. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. Okay, because I was like, I thought it was Fuchs, but that's mm-hmm. he came in and saved yeah. him after Fuchs started fucking with the his one. Name guy. Was Batar, right? Didn't it so we were talking about that too. His did he kill himself? Right? Yeah. Hit the they brought in that like the torture crazy guy. torture guy, yeah, the and, brother of the other dude that Barry yeah. did kill, right? Yeah. He killed himself, and Fuchs is like, <laughs> like they thought that Fuchs did that. Like you talked this guy into this, you must be badass. <laughs> Which is why he's trying to think that Jim Moss couldn't have done it, because deep down he knows that he didn't really do it. So how did this guy do it? Ah, right place, right time, just like me. <laughs> what was it? Uh, I once told a guy his 
Pancakes sucked. <laughs> yeah, <he's, laughs> my cousin, yeah. his pancakes sucked, so he went outside and hung himself. His short stacks. Oh, man. All right, that's the last Q&A. We need a poll for this episode. All right, over at patreon.com slash blindwave, we have a poll. Who yes. gets to bury first? Is it Jim Moss? Is it Albert? They both get there at the same time. Ooh, was a third option. Neither one gets there. Neither. <laughs> Neither one gets there, Sally. I guess. Sally should be the third, right? <laughs> they both die on the way. <laughs> I don't know. Crazier right. things have happened, I feel it's like. true. But it's possible. They tried to hand off a gun on a motorcycle. <laughs> I'll say the same time. You say the same time? Hmm. I say neither. I say Albert. Jim Moss. All right. I mean, sorry, George. George. Let us know over at patreon.com slash blindwave. Yeah. Subscribe. We'll see you next week. Bye. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Barry with us. And if you want more, subscribe as we have more coming next week. You don't want to miss when the video drops. Also, full length and the polls available at patreon.com slash blindwave. See that in the links below, description, and pink comment. You entitled card! You entitled fucking god!